So I want to talk about the physical effects of sleeping with 600 people in one year. How do you take care of your body to handle that kind of volume of sex? I'm actually, I'm like super into health and wellness and managing my stress levels and all of that. So, you know, I exercise, I eat well, I take really good care of my body. I, you know, go get acupuncture, I get massages to relax because sometimes obviously working so much and filming so much, it can be really stressful. And as Mm -hmm. I said, with all the admin, that can be super stressful. So I definitely like to like take time out of my day to take care of myself, self-care, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, But I also live in the Gold Coast in Australia, which is a super laid back city. So it's kind of easy to just relax and do work at the same time. It's not like living in New York where it's like, go, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, but I mean, I... I don't know, I have good personal hygiene as well. Obviously, sleeping with that many people, you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us like specifically some of the things that you do to take care of your hygiene? I know that there's a lot of women who are interested in how to do so, you know, when they're thinking about getting into the industry. You know, there's a lot of products out there with like v- vagina cleaning products and stuff like that. I personally don't use them because they can actually mess up your pH. Mm-hmm. And I I get worried about that. So I literally just shower and I your, your vagina cleans itself. It's a self-cleaning thing inside mm-hmm. you. So that's kind of cool. Um, obviously, I shower in between filming with people because, mm-hmm. you know, I don't want them to have like sloppy seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but other than that, like you don't really need to do anything else in my opinion. Yeah. I do know that girls who do, sh- it, that's a pretty common thing to do in professional porn, mm-hmm. but they always um, pour out the liquid that's in the douche and refill it with water. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because yep. it can absolutely give you like a yeast infection. Yes. Yeah. It's so interesting, right? Because I know, obviously, I've worked in the industry and filmed a lot of women having sex. And I know that everybody's body is different. Like, there's one model in particular that I'm thinking about who literally had to, like, kind of stop shooting porn, not because she didn't like it, but she kept getting, like, you know, bacterial, like, infections. Like, you, like her body just couldn't handle all of these, like, different pH levels of guys. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. And then other people can just have no problem. I do feel like I'm really lucky. The only time I've ever had yeast infections is from taking antibiotics, Mm. (laughs) like never from having sex. Right. And I've never had a UTI, touch wood as well. Right. (laughs) Have you ever had to talk to one of your uh, scene partners about their hygiene before you start? Yes. I have. And I've uh, like asked a few guys to shower beforehand. You know, it's like I've taken off their pants and I'm like, oh, I can't touch that. (laughs) Um, who doesn't do that I himself know. before he shows up to s- I know. film I, with you? Like, I that's d- crazy to me. Those types of guys that it's happened with are the type that are just so laid back and they just like, they just don't even think about it. It's like, cra- it's crazy because it is just common sense, right? Yeah. But like, they're just super laid back and they just haven't thought about it. And I'm always polite about it because I don't want to make them feel bad. But yeah. at the same time, you know, like I can't put yeah. myself at risk yeah, 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 getting yeah. an infection. How do they like handle that feedback? I try and make it really chill. I'm like, oh, would you mind just like hopping into the shower and giving, you know, your dick a good, a good clean for me? But I that's just... like after you've looked at it, right? So like <laughs> there's know. no way to be like before the scene. I know. And they be always. like, hey, can you take a shower? So I asked all my guys to take a shower before the scene. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. So I, I, since these guys, I have, I have started doing that, but this was back before I'd learned the tricks yeah. of the trade. Um, so yeah, it, it, they were embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. I've had to do that too. I've had to. For the most part, like, I feel like especially now, people are so much more health conscious and so much more conscious about STDs and and being careful than they were, like, 10, 15 years ago. I don't know. I would have guys show up to set with, like, a herpy on their dick, and they'd be like, oh, I cut myself shaving. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, dude. You don't shave your dick. And then I have to send them home, and it's like, (gasps) yeah, it's, like, awful to the point where at one point... I just started like inspecting them before we shot. Well, smart. And I'd be like, I got to see. Yeah. Okay, so can you just show mm-hmm. it to me? Like I'm a fucking doctor. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I found that, uh, and that's always awkward, but I found that it also depends on who you work with, right? Like mm-hmm. there's a, for me, it's a small pool of very professional male performers and they know. And yeah. they ha- if they have an outbreak or there's something going on, like they will just tell me and like not come. It's not worth the risk. And and they know, like, 
you know, they're going to be sent home anyways. Mm-hmm. And that's the difference, I think, with with, with, right. with regular guys. They don't yeah. know all this other stuff. And often when I ask them before we film, I'm like, oh, would you mind getting a test? They're kind of like, oh, really? Like, I kind of didn't think that that would be something I'd have to do. I'm like, well, yeah, like I need to be safe. Yeah. It's my job. Yeah. And they'll be like, I'm clean. What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. Or I'm a virgin. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know that. Yeah. 